students today let us see a state uh, theorem result from disconnected graph in the last theorem 4 we have seen the maximum number of edges in a connected graph is n into n minus 1 by 2 likewise in a disconnected graph what would be the maximum number of edges that we are going to see this is a statement suppose g is a disconnected graph with n vertices and k components then the maximum number of edges we are going to prove it is n minus k into n minus k plus 1 divided by 2. Now you consider like this. This is the whole graph and the graph has k components. First component, second component, kth component like that. First component I name it as g1, second component g2 likewise kth component gk. And first component has n1 vertices, second component has n2 vertices and kth component has nk vertices. There is no edge from first component to second component, second component to in between components, there is no edge. Within the component, all the vertices are perfectly connected. So any two vertex, if we say within a component, they are connected by a path. Now, <clears throat> I take the k components in the disconnected graph with vertices n1, n2, nk. Now by theorem 4, the number of maximum number of edges in each component, for, if I say ith component, ni into ni minus 1 by 2, refer the theorem 4 in the last video. Now when I add all the number of vertices in the uh, each component, I get the total number of vertices in the whole graph. So I write this equation n1 plus n2 plus etc. nk equal to n. Now I am going to do some arithmetic in the number of vertices. I am not. I, I am su suspending the main question of answering the number of edges at present. So each term let us subtract one. So in the left hand side we are going to subtract k once. So totally we have subtracted k on the left hand side. To balance that let us subtract k on the right hand side also. So I repeat it. With each term I am going to subtract 1. There are k terms. So k once I am going to subtract. So totally k is being subtracted on the left hand side. To balance that, I am going to subtract the same k on the right hand side also. Now both sides I am going to square it. Look at the left hand side format. It is of the form a plus b plus c plus etc. whole square. Whose square is a square plus b square plus c square plus d square plus 2 into pair of product. a b, a c, a d b c b d like that so all the pair will come here now i apply this format and i write n1 minus 1 whole square plus n2 minus 1 whole square plus etc nk minus 1 whole square plus 2 into product of pairs n1 minus 1 into n2 minus 1 n1 minus 1 into n3 minus 1 n1 minus 1 into nk minus 1 like that so all the pairs that is equal to n minus k whole square. Now look at here. The addition of these two terms. First term plus second term is equal to third term. Now if I omit this second term. This will become smaller. For example this is having value 5. This is having value 10. 5 plus 10 equal to 15. Now if I remove that 10. This 5 is less than 15. So this is what I have written here. So when I remove the second term, addition of this second term, the equality becomes inequality. This becomes larger and the left hand side becomes smaller. That is what written here. Now I use the a minus b whole square formula and expand. n1 minus 1 whole square plus minus 2 n1 plus 1. Like that each term I expand. Let me combine the squared terms n1 square, n2 square plus etc. nk square and the linear terms 2n1, 2n2, 2nk like that. Minus 2 I take it in common and combine the constant term 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus etc. k terms I am having. 
right hand side there is no change. Now by equation 1, n1 plus n2 plus etc. nk, sorry, by equation 2, n1 plus n2 plus nk equal to n, that is what written here. 1, if I add k times, I will get k. Now, right hand side no change. Again, this minus 2n and plus k is brought to the right hand side, that is written as 2n minus k. Now let us answer the main question of maximum number of edges in G. So what I do, I am going to calculate the maximum number of edges in G1, maximum number of edges in G2 and etc. maximum number of edges in GK. And if I add all these edges, that will give the maximum number of edges in the original graph. <coughs> so maximum number of edges in G1, if I take G1 itself is a connected graph. So its maximum number of edges is n1 into n1 minus 1 by 2 by theorem 4. This is what written as inequality 1. I am, I am making use of that inequality. For g2, n2 into n2 minus 1 by 2 plus etc. For gk, nk into nk minus 1 by 2. And hereafter it is a little bit arithmetic. 2 is taken as LCM. n1 is multiplied inside the bracket n1 square minus n n1 n2 is multiplied inside bracket n2 square minus n2 like that each term. Let me combine the squared terms n1 square n2 square plus nk square minus the linear terms n1 n2 etc nk. n1 n2 nk addition is n that is written here and the squared terms is less than or equal to n minus k whole square plus 2n minus k this is by inequality 3 that I am making use of here n minus k whole square plus 2n minus k. Now 2n minus n is n that is what written here k is written as usual n minus k whole square is written without change. If we look at these two terms n minus k is common take it out we will get n minus k plus n minus k is gone out so here I will get 1 that is what written here whole divided by 2 that is the maximum number of edges in a graph. So with this the proof is over. Let us see another problem in the next video.